January 2022, I started investing $5 every single day to see if such a small amount would make a big impact on a portfolio over time. Look, if you don't have a lot of money, but you know you need to get started somewhere, that's what inspired me to make this particular challenge happen. But now it's been two years and I'm gonna share with you what my $5 a day grew into. For me, this is how it started right here. I was drinking Starbucks every single day and I looked at that and had this realization in late 2021, I thought, man, I'm sitting here drinking Starbucks every day, which costs anywhere from like maybe four or five, six dollars every single day for the, for the cup of coffee, right? What if I would take that, cut that out of my budget and then invest that money instead of pissing my money away, I could invest it and let that money hopefully grow over time. Now, this is what inspired me to get started, but I'm not saying that you have to give up your cup of coffee every day. What I'm saying is find ways to maybe find $5 a day in your budget. It's a smaller hit to the overall monthly budget, and that way you can get started and familiar with what conservative stock market investments actually look like and how they feel and how they operate. But you know, as always with me, I decided to go a little bit crazy with this. I said, okay, well, I can, I can actually cut out $5 out of my budget every day, but I can also do another $5 a day. So I'm gonna mix it up. We're gonna do $5 a day into the stock market, and then I'm gonna do another $5 a day into cryptocurrency because you know everybody likes to say stocks versus crypto. Why not invest in both of them? So the first $5 a day went into the US stock market. The other $5 went into Ethereum. Now that's because everybody is talking about Bitcoin all the time. And I decided to be a little bit of a rebel and do Ethereum instead. Point is, I'm super annoyed that we didn't learn about investing like this in high school when we were younger, and we could have built up a sizable portfolio by the time we hit our 20s, 30s, and 40s. No, instead, we were learning about Pythagorean theorem, which to this day, I still have not used, and I'm super annoyed by that. And maybe we did talk about investing in high school, but they made it super boring and we just kind of fell asleep. What they should have done is said, yo, hey, hey, everybody, listen up. Look at this, look right here, look. Do you want some of this? Do you want this? Do you want all this money? Here's what you have to do right now, starting today. Go home, have your mom or dad sign you up for some type of an account, or if you're 18, sign up for your account today and start investing small amounts. From now until the time you hit your 30s and 40s, you're gonna make all kinds of gains. That's why we have YouTube now. So let's check the portfolios after two years of investing $5 every single day. So let's start with the stock market. I decided to invest in VOO. That is the ticker symbol. And the reason why is because VOO is an ETF that invests in the S&P 500, top 500 companies in America. Now, why not just go with a single stock like Apple or Tesla or something like that? Well, because I wanted an ETF, so I didn't have to put all my eggs into one basket, all my eggs into one company. See, when you invest in an ETF, you get to invest in all the companies that that ETF holds. So I am investing in Apple and Tesla because they're part of the top 500 companies in America, but it spreads every $5 throughout via percentage on all 500 of those companies. That's a nice, easy way to set and forget your investments. So here are the results as of January 2nd, 2024. So right now the price is $434.21 per share as of the recording of this video. I have built up over the last two years, 9.664027 shares because $5 a day is obviously not gonna get you a full share of $434. So you're gonna get fractional shares every single time that you invest. But that means I have 9.6 shares built up over that period of time. The market value is $4,196. And I think what's so cool about that is so many times we just spend $5 like it's nothing, right? Have you ever done that? Where you go to a store, you go to Starbucks, you go wherever, and you just like, yeah, okay, $5, whatever. But imagine what happens after two years of doing that and saying, wait, instead of just saying, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna hold on to that and I'm gonna do something with it and get $4,000 worth. That's what happened over these last two years. My average cost, which means that when the market is down, I'm still investing $5 a day. And that means that my average cost per share goes down. $383 is my average cost, which means that my total return so far is $490.86. That represents a 13.25% improvement over what I purchased. That means I basically said, hey, I'll give you $5 a day for two years and I want to get back 13% on my money. That's awesome. When's the last time your job gave you a 13% raise? That's what's amazing about the stock market. So yeah, just starting off with something small. I mean, 491, that's like almost like what, 90 days? So think about this, pay for two years, get three months free. 
that's kind of what that looks like if you do the math. But here's the thing about the stock market that we need to talk about. And we've had a lot of great conversations over the last two years that I've been keeping you guys updated every month, every quarter here on the channel with the $5 a day investment challenge. The trick is because the stock market's not open every day, they're basically open Monday through Friday, closed on the weekends and closed on all US major holidays. You can't really invest $5 a day on Saturday and Sunday in the holidays. So how do we do that? And these great conversations was, well, we could divide it. We could kind of put in a little bit more. Maybe every Monday you put in $10 to account for Saturday and Sunday. But I said, you know what? In 2024, I'm changing that completely. I'm tired of it. So here's what I did. I'm taking $5 and I'm going to multiply that by 366 days in 2024. Yes, it's a leap year, so we have 366 days this year. So five times 366, that equals $1,830 that we'll be investing over the course of 2024. Now, there are only 252 active trading days that the stock market is open this next year, 252. So we're gonna take that 1,830 and divide it by 252 trading days. That gives us, and I'm gonna round this up a little bit, $7.27 a day. And that's what I'm going to invest every day that the stock market's open. That way I can truly say I invested $5 a day. That's how the math works on this particular avenue of the stock market. So in my automatic investments, and uh, I use Robinhood right now. That's what you're seeing right now on the screen. But I actually would, if I were starting this all over again, I would use Webull and here's why. They are giving 5% APY right now on all uninvested cash. So here's what I do. Every month, I transfer money into the account. And then what I do is I set up an automatic investment that tells the brokerage to say, go ahead and pull out $5 a day, or in this case, $7.27 a day, out of my uninvested cash. But why not earn some extra interest on that while it's sitting around waiting for your $5 a day to happen? That's what is cool about Weeble. And both of them offer automatic investment program. It's totally up to you which one you want to use. It's just I started with this one back in January 22, and I want to keep it going. So I'm going to continue on Robinhood with this particular fund. Now, Robinhood does offer 1.5% on your uninvested cash, which is okay, but I'd rather take 5%, right? 1.5 versus 5%. We all know which one's more. I'll include a link to both brokerages in the description below. If you want to check them out, you will get free bonuses when you sign up. So it's, it's worth checking out. Unlike all of that that we just said, the crypto market is open every single day. See, the crypto market, that never closes. It's open 24-7 every single day. So we don't have to worry about doing all that math and doing like that 727 a day. No, no, no. We could just do $5 automatic investment every day into crypto. doesn't matter which one you did. I chose Ethereum because I'm a rebel. You can do Bitcoin if you want. You can do whatever you want. But we did Ethereum. Let's see. After two years, as of the recording of this video on January 2nd, here's what we got for Ethereum. I am excited to say, now even though one Ethereum costs $2,357, I'm excited to share with you that I now own two Ethereum. That's huge. I mean, two Ethereum is pretty cool. I've always dreamed about owning that, and I didn't realize just a small amount of money every day would get me there. So let's take a look at the results. Here we go. So 2.042289. My goal is next year, in January of 2025, to come back and say I now own three Ethereum. Let's see what happens. But anyway, the average cost is $17.36, which means that my total return is an exciting whopping $1,270. As of the recording of this video, oh look, it went up to $1,272.12. It's bouncing all around, but the point is, it's up 35.87%. But let me be clear, Ethereum, crypto, it's a wild ride and it's kind of silly because the next month, this could be down like negative 30%. This thing goes up and down like mad. So if you want something a little bit more calm, a little bit more long-term, and a little bit more productive, because let's be honest, the stock market is focused on the production and growth of the United States stock market and the United States businesses in the case of VOO and the S&P 500. Ethereum is a little bit different. But in any case, as you can see right there, there's my ETH daily buy at $5 every single day. Coming back here, just to show you one more time, I did already set this up. I have a pending buy of $7.27 happening today, and that'll continue on every single day that the stock market is open. So two years, $5 a day. I'll tell you that first year was awful. At the end of 2022, I was down in the hole because 2022 was an awful year for crypto and stocks. But just a small amount over time. Imagine if I started this back in 2018 or 2015, where my money would be today. Feel free to do the math on that and comment down below with, 
how much money would I have if I invested $5 a day since 2015? And I'm talking about how much growth I would have, not how much I deposited, how much I invested. I'm talking about how much did the stock market grow that I benefit from by putting that $5 in. And then think about what it's possible for you. This is not financial advice, but if you want to join me on the $5 a day challenge, make sure you let me know what you're up to and how your portfolio is growing over time. Let's live our financial freedom. Let's live financially independent. That's what this channel is about. Subscribe for more. Check out this video next and we'll see you on the next video.